Tonight, one of the most decorated athletes alive is getting ready to compete in the Boston Marathon. Tatiana McFadden feels good. She just won three medals at the Paralympic Games in Tokyo, and Boston won't be her only race this fall. I'm actually going to be doing all of them. I think I'll be the only American to do the American Three, um, Boston, Chicago, and New York. Um, but I'm starting off with Berlin and then off to London. I figured, why not? It's the only time that this will ever happen where all the marathons are being stacked like this. So I decided to take a chance on it and kind of see what happens. But of all the races, Boston is especially meaningful to Tatiana McFadden. 2013, the year of the bombings, was the first win of her five Boston titles. What does Boston represent? Boston also represents resiliency, just Boston in general um, and everything that Boston's went through. And Tatiana knows about resiliency from her first years in a Russian orphanage, even without a wheelchair, to coming back strong after a life-threatening scare with blood clots in 2017. And while participating in a Japanese documentary recently, she learned something new about her own innate inner strength. They did a scan, an MRI scan on my brain, and they said that the will part that's in, in your brain, mine is much bigger than the average person. And I never knew that. I just thought like my brain is just like the average person. And they said, no, like your will part is significantly bigger growing up in the orphanage and le learning my survival skills. I think that just came at such a young age and has carried over into my adulthood, which is such an important skill for anybody. McFadden is excited to be taking her skills back to the race course. She told me the long layoff because of the pandemic was difficult for her emotionally, and she found that sticking to a routine and finding someone to talk to was especially helpful. It's not easy. Um, we're all basic humans, and we do have goals, and uh, we are people oriented, and so when that gets taken away and the uncertainty, yeah, it drives all of us crazy. It's hard. I mean, uh, mental health is everything. It should be your number one priority because it leads to everything. It leads to relationships with people and, you know, your job and your passions. And in two minutes, you see why she's such an incredible role model. Her approach to mental health, her resiliency, her openness, um, and, and just her, her love of life yeah. and racing. And we're so glad she's going to be coming back. And it makes all the sense in the world that her brain has a larger section of will Doesn't it? than anybody else. She is extraordinary. Yes, a phenomenal yeah. athlete and person. And WBZ is so proud to be your Boston Marathon station. We're the only local station bringing you live wired wire coverage of the historic race the 125th running of the boston marathon is monday october 11th wow it's almost here i know we're so exciting yes we have